Hey everybody, what's going on again today? Um, yeah, you, you're seeing that right. I apologize, you do not get to see my beautiful face for a second day in a row. So I apologize, please just try to get through it. And tomorrow I'll try to do a post where uh, you can see me once again. But anyways, let's get going real quick. Uh, today's topic is on our target heart rate. See, here I am again. And... Uh, basically, I just want to do a quick uh, example of using the formulas that are in the post to get your target heart rate. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about because you haven't read the post, first, stop this video, uh, read the post, then come back to the video so you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, so anyways, we're the first one we're going to do is just an age-based um, target heart rate. Um, now this part is going to be the same for both ones we use, and that is we want to we want to do our target heart rate anywhere between sixty percent um, to ninety percent of our max um, target heart rate. Okay, uh, and I'll explain more in the post on what between ninety and hundred percent means, or even between eighty and ninety percent. So check that out if you haven't already. So first thing you're going to do to get your target heart rate is, and this is for everybody, you start off with 220, and what that is is 220 beats per minute uh, for your heart rate. Um, and then you're going to minus your age, we're, we're going to use mine once again today. So my age is 33, and that is going to equal 187, and that is my max Heart, uh, target heart rate that I ever want to get to. I never want to go over that 187. That 187 is me going at 100%. So now we need to figure out what our range is that we want to try to stay in to get the greatest benefit in our workout. And that usually is between 60 and 90%. So let's start off with doing the 60%. You're going to take your max heart rate, and that's 187. And we're going to multiply that by 60%. And that equals roughly right at 112. So that's the low end of my range. Now I need to find the top end of my range. So we're going to take your 187 again. Um, and we're going to multiply it by 90%. And that is roughly 168 so when I do my P90X uh, plyometrics workout or I do my insanity workouts, I am usually really close to this 168, uh, if not right at for a lot of the workout. So I'm usually right at towards the top end of my uh, range. Uh, so that just means I'm really working hard getting my heart rate up. Uh, now, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, but that's, you know, for anybody that's age 33. But not everybody at the same age uh, is going to be at the same level, or they're not always going to be uh, have the same range. So what do we do? So we're going to get rid of this. This is a good place to start. You can use this. But we're going to add in our resting heart rate to the equation to find out even just a little bit uh, better of a range, a little bit closer to where we're where we should be at. So where do we start there? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what your resting heart rate is, and you can do that either through a uh, heart monitor, uh, heart rate monitor if you have one, or you can just take your heart rate yourself whenever you're at rest. Uh, I did that this morning, so I figured out that my resting heart rate is right at 60 uh, and that's about normal for me um, usually you're probably gonna be within the 60 to 80 range that's where most people are at for their resting heart rate um, okay so once again what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our uh, max heart rate which we figured before which was the 220 minus 33 so we're gonna start off with the 187 and remember that 33 is based on my age so you need to substitute that number in uh, to figure out yours. And we're going to minus 
our resting heart rate to get 127. Okay, now we're going to take this 127 and we're going to multiply it by the low end of our range, which remember we said was 60% to 90%. Okay, so we're going to do the 60% and that equals 76. And now we're going to add back in our resting heart rate. And that equals 136. So now this is going to be the low end of my range. So this would be the minimum. Where before it was 112 when we just used the age. Okay, so now we need to find the high end of the range. Range. So we're going to take this 127 again. And we're going to multiply that by the 90%. And that equals 114. And we're going to add back in that 60 for our resting heart rate and that is going to be 174 so now that is the max end of my range so my range before was 112 to 168 and now my range is 136 to 174 when I take into account my resting heart rate and usually not all the time your resting heart rate is going to be lower um, if you're in better shape if you're not in real good shape at all, um, odds are your resting heart rate is going to be a little bit higher, so it's going to change those ranges for you. So this is a little bit more accurate um, than the other one. You still can use the other way, but I would use this way just to get a little bit more better of an accurate reading. Um, so hopefully that was um, a good explanation for you. Hopefully you understood it. If you didn't or it was just way too much at once, read through the post again. Hopefully that clarifies some of your questions. If not, feel free to uh, throw a comment down at the bottom or get a hold of me um, and we can talk about it a little bit more uh, so you understand because it really is an important piece of your um, fitness um, and to really get the greatest benefit out of your workout. So I think that's all I have for you today. Like I said, once again, hopefully you get to see my beautiful face in tomorrow's post. So have a good one. Adios.